Good morning, Meredith. Well, you can see here this morning we are live from Flanner and Buchanan Funeral Home where a huge donation drive is happening here today. But first, we do want to tell you about that update from Indiana Task Force One. Some of those members have been down in Texas for more than a week, and we are told they are doing just fine, but their work is sure making a big difference as so many people are still impacted by the floodwaters down there. The water rescue team has actually transitioned into a humanitarian support team. That group has been stationed at Jack Brooks Airport. Their job has been to make sure people who are evacuated have food, water, and even shelter until they can be moved into a safe location and hopefully soon maybe make it back home. But yesterday that group was actually moved to Beaumont and Port Arthur, Texas to continue their search and rescue efforts. We're assigned an area to go in and they will be searching homes, uh, businesses, uh, vehicles to see if anyone can be located. There's typically people that did not evacuate who've gotten to a point where they're out of food, out of water, and no electricity, and they're just ready to get out of those locations. So we'll assist if that's needed. The water rescue team is back at Jack Brooks Airport this morning. They will be reassigned today. Meanwhile, there are a variety of different ways you can help the people impacted by Hurricane Harvey. Continuing today, as I mentioned at the top, Flair and Buchanan is accepting donation for those victims. You can donate from 9 o'clock this morning until 2 o'clock this afternoon at 2706 Kessler Boulevard at the Jazz Hall Suite. They are asking for items like animal food, animal bedding, toilet paper, diapers, and even water. We are told that those animal supplies will go to a rancher down in Texas, north of Houston, whose animals are impacted by those floodwaters. The rest of the donations will go right to Houston. We're live this morning on the northwest side. Nicole Griffin, RTV6. Nicole, thank you. And beginning next Thursday until Saturday, September 9th, between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m., you can drop off donations at four sites in the metro area. Those locations right there on your screen. You can also find the list of those locations on the RTV6 app and the IndyChannel.com.